Hello, my name is Dan Goddard and welcome to the Alpha People channel. I'll be taking you through a very short uh, video clip exploring some of the new functionality in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2011. This short clip will uh, take us through the audit functionality that's now available in 2011. We'll explore the audit settings, enable auditing against uh, a field on a particular entity and then we'll look at the audit summaries within a record in CRM. So let's have a look. Within the settings area of CRM we can see that uh, there's a system area and within that area we have auditing. Okay. The uh, global audit settings can be applied here. We can um, allow to track changes against entities and fields using the settings area here. We have a, an audit summary view and a log management as well. But the, uh, the general global audit settings can be switched on or off just here. So I can enable or disable ordering, or auditing throughout CRM completely. Below that is a section where we can enable auditing for the following areas. Common entities like accounts, contacts, goals uh, can be enabled just here and as you can see if I hover over that checkbox they are in fact enabled. There's a sales area and uh, we've got a greyed out checkbox here that's um, informing us that some of the information in sales is audited and uh, as you can see it's opportunity that's enabled. The rest are currently uh, have uh, track changes disabled against. There's the marketing entity and also uh, the customer service entities like cases and contracts currently disabled as well. So these are the overall global settings for your auditing which are fine. On the uh, right hand side here we can toggle on or off audit settings on field level um, just to save time. I already have this open in these two tabs here. By clicking here we'd be able to open up the entire solution down the left hand side choose the record type that we'd like to track changes against for this example it's opportunity and the field in question is estimated revenue I'd like to track the changes made to that particular field in CRM I already have the field open here just again to save time I've enabled this already so if I now make changes as a as a salesperson to my opportunities I'll be able to see the old value and the new value of the estimated revenue to show you that, if I go back into the main sales area of CRM here, opportunities selected, my sales grid will load my opportunities and if we take let's say the opportunity at the bottom here, what we'll have is the estimated revenue set to £25,000. Okay and if I chose to just take this down by 5,000 to 20,000 pounds here that change is made. In order to see the audit history I have to save the record and then within the audit history of this opportunity I'll be able to see that that change has been made on this date and time by me it was an update to the record, the field, the old value and the new value Okay. From within this screen, if I wanted to, I could even use the opportunities drop down, go to a completely different opportunity here without having to go back, make changes to the estimated revenue of another one, click save, so that's down from 9,000 to 7,000 for this one. And if I go to the audit history, we'll be able to see changes made just now and previous changes as well. So that's a very quick look at tracking changes using the audit tool in CRM 2011. That's all for now. Um, coming soon there's going to be some more videos around filtering records, dashboard, SharePoint integration. I'm looking forward to showing you the CRM chart functionality as well. Um, so feel free to contact us if you need to find out more. There's our um, address, telephone number, the website as well. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching and goodbye for now.